I've got an update on the organic wheat bran testing. Uh, I think it's good, but let's walk through it. Uh, I've, I've got four trays here that started on December 12th. It is now January 28th, 29th. Uh, so we're looking at almost two months uh, and I notice an observable difference between the trays. Uh, I won't know for sure based on, you know, like harvesting these trays to seeing volume produced in these organic trays versus the non-organic. Uh, I won't know that for another month and a half probably, um, but I'm seeing some, what I think are positive indications. Let's walk through that. So here's an entire cohort of trays. So these were all, uh, had the beetles separated at the same time. We've got uh, younger beetle uh, laying to older be beetle laying. So we've got the gambit of things being tested here. Uh, and what I've got is in these new brand trays, we're just gonna observe and compare to the standard brand. And so what I see here is on top, all of these exoskeletons, and it's hard to see. Let me see if I can blow them out of the way here for a second. There you go. So now you can see the pure brand on top they're still eating through that. That's okay, that's normal. It's not like that shouldn't be there. But all those exoskeletons across the entire tray is very interesting because when we compare it to a different tray that's not the organic wheat bran, you can still see larva in here, right? So they're still, they're still in here. There's one there, there's one over there. They're, they're in the bran. They don't like the light, so they're trying to get away from the light. Um, but there's not as many exoskeletons up here. There's some right? But not as many. And that's really interesting to me. What that leads me to potentially think here is that, excuse me, they're growing faster. So every insect goes through an instar. And what an instar is, is the exoskeleton gets shed. Uh, the insect is then white, like the, their skin is just white, very white. Uh, and then it hardens up into their normal color. Um, and so Mealworms go through that process, just like every other insect, and they shed that exoskeleton. And what happens is in these trays, the exoskeletons are going to build up uh, until I do that harvest process, and then they get separated out um, from the, the larva. Uh, seeing these exoskeletons here, there's more of them. So there's a couple of theories I have right now. Uh, the one, one theory that leads to the brand not being uh, beneficial um, is that they might just be having more instars. They might be shedding their exoskeleton more, uh, which happens. Um, and so maybe they're just doing that, and that's why there's more exoskeletons on top. The second theory I have is that they're growing faster. Um, and by having organic bran in there, uh, they're growing faster, and I'll be able to harvest those trays sooner. Now, I won't be able to prove this out until, so that was 12-12, so I won't be able to prove that out until around 3-12, um, March 12th, Unless these trays, I'm going to start paying attention to these trays more, more closely now, unless these organic brand trays are indeed growing faster, the larvae inside they're growing faster, I might have to harvest them sooner, um, which would be a good thing from a business perspective, honestly, because then I get more turns out of this space that I have. I can harvest these trays sooner, replace them sooner, uh, and potentially have more production in the same footprint. Um, it all just depends though, right? So I'm going to need to track... Uh, when I harvest these trays uh, early March or sooner, uh, I'm going to need to track the frass produced, the volume of larva, uh, the weight of the larva, uh, and any other observations that I see. Um, but this is a good indication from my perspective, uh, yet to be determined if the final result of this is beneficial or not. Um, but the organic wheat brand, I, I presumed that it would, it would perform better. Um, but I need to prove that out. I'm only doing it in small segments. So there's four of those trays there. Uh, there's four buried further back. Um, I'm only doing it in small segments because I can't sacrifice an entire week's worth of harvest. Uh, I have to survive capitalism, right? And so I'm, I wanna prove this out myself uh, in this environment before I transition everything over to that organic wheat brand or do a mix, right? So organic wheat brand is more expensive. Uh, and there's the potential that I may not be able to cost effectively use it in this entire entire building. Uh, it might be like a 50-50 scenario. All that comes down to math and whatnot, pending finalization of all of this testing, right? Uh, but that's the latest and greatest on the organic wheat brand versus non-organic brand. Uh, if you have any thoughts or uh, ideas on the exoskeleton production, 
please leave them in the comments. Uh, curious to hear what you think. And I'll update again uh, once I have more observable data to share.